All right, today we are working on uh, the Mercedes and what we're trying to do is take out, I don't know if you can see it, but take out that broken lug nut that's in there. See, it should be nothing. It should be empty, it should be a hole. But it's not, it broke off. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. All right, so what you do is you take the caliper out so there's the caliper i just got it resting on this i didn't unplug anything the pads are still there i just took the whole thing out so you essentially take two of these 18s uh which is this and that one down there set it aside remove the set screw which is right here i already loosened it up with the wrench so this is what I can do with my hand. Once the set screws move, put aside. A couple of taps. There's your rotor. All right, can I see that? That's what I gotta remove. It should be like this, completely through. But we'll figure it out. Okay, so. This is the type of bolt that it doesn't have a head here because the, they, the screws, the bolts go in the, from the outside like this. So the head is on the outside. Typically, they're like this. And then you can just hit a hammer and it comes out this way. Um, but it's it's on there, so heat gun. This junk was like the best $10 I've ever spent was this heat gun. And we're just gonna heat it up. Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna take a drill and drill inside and then take an extractor uh, bit and try to pull it out that way. Let you know how it goes. All right, so I started drilling, trying different drill bits here. Uh, you see I have a bunch here I'm trying. And I just stuck this screwdriver in here just so that this thing that stays put because it rotates every time I put the drill in here. So I'm making some progress there. We'll go a little bit more and then we'll use the extractor uh, bit to pull that thing out. All right, so I tried drilling and uh, it's not really working out and I'm starting to damage this part a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take this out, um, take the hub out. So what you do is you grab like anything, but I used one of these. You put it in here like that. You hit it with a hammer. You rotate it, put it again in here, hit it with a hammer, and then eventually this just pops out. All right. Once that pops out, now right, right here is an Allen wrench. I think it's a number five. So you have to take that out, and this is going open. Once that opens, you can unscrew this, and then this should come out. So Allen wrench, and then unscrew this, and then this should come out. You just Start spinning that out. Okay, and you see that? Now it's this is becoming loose. There you go. And you just spin that bad boy out. You don't have to take the whole thing out. Look, I left the, the screw in there. All right, we we'll probably have to put some more grease in here. Once we put it back. You might want to use a glove also for this. Um, I don't really care, so whatever. Bad. We just set that sucker right down there. It's not too bad. You got pants for. Pulled this out like this. I pulled it out. This one came out and it fell on the floor. So I'm gonna take it out, clean it out, re-grease everything. Just set that down there as well. And then this should come out in theory. All right, well, let me use my two hands. Okay, so I have I put a little plastic bag to cover the grease and stuff in there. And that's what I need to take out. So now that I have the hub out, you see I have it sitting right in the middle like that so that the hole can fall right through. Let's uh, grab this thing, put it right there. Grab a hammer and then hit it. 
All right, boom. Thing came out. Somewhere, there it is. There it is, little piece of crap up. So that was stuck right there. So my drill bit couldn't go through. So now that the drill bit is out, time to keep on drilling. Okay, so I put the extractor tool in there. I'm just heating it up a little bit to help the process. And then I'm using that wrench on top to pull. I think I'm gonna get it. I heard it cracked last time, so I think this, this is gonna work out. See how the tool is in there? Okay, so we're putting things back now. Uh, I removed the thing here. So we put this in, and then this thing. Don't forget, this goes in. Something like that. Take your Allen wrench, again, number five, and then tighten this up. And then put the rotor back in, and then the caliper with the pads. Oh, don't forget the little top. Once you're done with this, you put the little cap so that the grease doesn't get all dirty. 